Hi everyone, this is Ronnie again, and it's time for another weekly update on the SAP online track. These weekly updates are short videos of around 1 to 5 minutes, where we try to update you, the community, on uh, what has happened in the project since last time, and other useful information. We release them on YouTube every Wednesday at 10 o'clock Central European time. Today's subject will be on our communication platform Discord, but I would like to take the time to mention one of our sponsors first. OpenSAP is probably your best source for free online training for SAP technologies. They have a massive number of courses on subjects concerning both technical and functional aspects. And I can personally say that the fantastic instructors of OpenSAP are the biggest contributors of structured learning on my journey as an SAP developer. The courses are tailored for people in full-time jobs, usually spending four to eight weeks, but only demanding two to three hours of effort each week. If you join a course when it's running live, you may be eligible for a record of achievement upon completion. If you find a course that is in self-paced mode, you can still get this record of achievement by using a reactivation code. And OpenSAP are so awesome that they are sponsoring SAP OnlineTrack with 60 reactivation codes that we can give out to participants during the event. We will get back to how you can win one, but in the meantime, please visit open.sap.com and check out all the cool courses available. A big thank you for OpenSAP from all of SAP Online Track for sponsoring this event. You guys rock! Now, we are also very happy to see that lots of people have joined our Discord server over the last week. And we really hope it can become a social gathering point in these times of isolation. And today, I thought I would show you how you can customize your presence on Discord. When you are on the SAP Online Track Discord server, you can change your server nickname. And you can do this from the settings menu for the server, either by pressing the down arrow on the, over the channel list, or by right clicking on the server icon. Then, select change nickname and uh, enter your new name. And save. To change your avatar, you have to go to your user settings and press edit in my accounts. You can then change your avatar to a picture of your preference. And uh, click save and you have changed. Lastly, you can also control your direct message settings from the save, uh, same server settings where you can change your nickname. By selecting privacy settings, you can toggle the ability for others to send you direct messages. Thank you to all that have joined. And if you haven't yet joined, please visit bit.ly forward slash SAP online track hyphen discord. You can also find more information in the second weekly update. The link is in the description below. It is time to round things off. But before I leave, we would really like to thank all of you in the SAP community that have submitted proposals for sessions and also those who have volunteered to help with the event. Without all of you, this would not be possible. If you have an idea for a session, Please don't hesitate to submit it. All proposals are welcome, no matter what level it is on. And don't worry on how we will broadcast. We will soon publish information on that setup and it will be really easy on the presenter side. You can find the link to the submission form in the description below, together with the link for those who would like to volunteer. And now, all that is left is the most awkward part for me, actually trying to finish this video. So I guess I'll just do as I did last time. I'll see all of you online and then it's bye for now.